Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, I'm Evie and I do DIY videos on a budget. Today I want to show you how to make three a dry clay projects that are super cute, easy and very popular these days. So if you are in DIY home decor on a low budget, then hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and definitely hit the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. Well, are you ready guys? Let's get started! For my projects I use this dust air dry clay I ordered from Amazon, you can find the link in the description box down below. Alright, for my first project I cut 1 inch thick clay with a knife and I warmed it up in my hands trying to form it in a log and then I laid it on my table to keep on rolling it out in a long log section about one third of an inch thick. Next I cut one end and then I cut clay at the point I thought that I could form a ring of the chain. And I used that piece as a measuring reference to be able to cut another four equal parts. In fact, you see me here ended up with three, but I made another two later on. Next, what I'm gonna do is to take the ends and score them with a knife and then tap my finger in the water and slip the one end. Then, what you have to do is to bend the two ends together and use your fingers to warm up the clay and work with it so that you can join them and form the ring. When I made sure that it bonded nicely, I went ahead and formed it in an oval shape and then I used the slip technique to smooth out all the cracks and imperfections. Now for the fourth piece I scored the ends and then I passed the one end through the one ring and the other end through the other and then I formed it. Next I took the fifth and passed it through the other rings using the same technique to complete the chain and set it aside to dry for 24 hours. The next day I sanded it down with a fine sandpaper to smooth it out as better as I could and then wiped it off with a paper towel. Next comes the fun part, painting. I wanted to paint it in an off-white color so I've put white acrylic paint with a tiny little bit of yellow ochre in a plastic container and stir them to achieve that off-white I was going for which I love and then painted. I did the first coat the one day and the second coat the next day where I also realized that it would be easier to paint the chain if it is laying flat. So I highly recommend to lay it down, it will make the process of painting so much easier for you guys. And that finishes off our chain. Next, we are moving on to our second project, which is a taper counter holder I see all over Pinterest. And to be doing this, all you have to do is to take a generous amount of clay and shape it in your hands at first, as we did with our first project, and then lay it down to roll it out in a thick log about one and a half inches wide. Next, what we're going to be doing is to cut both ends and bed it in a U shape. And because the clay is going to have imperfections, like mine you see here, don't worry, all we have to do is to use the slip technique I told you about in our first project. Tap your finger in the water and then smooth out your clay as better as possible. Then go ahead and sit your clay upright and take your candle and twist it onto the clay to leave a mark to let you know where your candle should be. Next what I'm doing is to remove any excess clay using my exacto knife, sorry guys but my hand got in the way but I think you get the idea and then push my candle in. That way I'm not pushing clay and ruin my form. 
but guys I want to highly recommend to make the hole a little bit bigger than the actual candle because clay has the intention to shrink after drying and you don't want to waste all the time and energy to something that didn't work out as you expected. I let it sit for 24 hours and then I came in and gave it a good sanding with a fine sandpaper. And because I want to be sure that it stays upright, I sanded the bottom on a 220 grit sandpaper and then I moved on to sand the rest of the candle holder and smooth out any imperfections. When I was happy with the result, it was time for painting. I've mixed white and yellow ochre acrylic paint as I did with our first project, but I also added a little bit of baking soda to achieve that ceramic finish I see popping up everywhere, which I love. I did the one coat, but because I wasn't happy with how it turned out, for the second coat I added more baking soda to the paint to make it more textured, and yes, it worked! For the third and my favorite project, I took 3 quarters of an inch thick clay and rolled it out in a big log section about half an inch thick and 13 inches in length. Then I went on and cut off both ends with my knife and I moved on to shape the knot. I took the left end and passed it under the right side and then I took the right end and passed it under and then above the left side. I tried to make my moves as gently as possible and when I was happy with the shape, I used water to smooth it out. I let it dry for 24 hours and then I came in the next day to give it a good sanding. Lastly, I painted over with this off-white acrylic paint that I love and here is how it turned out. Well guys, this is it. I love how they turned out and I hope I inspired you to make them. Please let me know in the comments if this is something you consider doing and which one will be. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I hope I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!